Once upon a time, there lived a poor man who had so many children, they were like ants in a hill. The children often went without food for three days in a row. They were so very poor. So their father set off to find some food for his family. He was walking in the forest when the devil met him, disguised as a man. Where are you going, poor man? I'm going to find some food for my children. If I don't do something soon, they will all die of hunger. Don't take another step. I'll give you something that, if you use it wisely, will put an end to suffering in your house. Here, take this little walnut, give it any order you like, and it will be done without delay. But what am I to give you in return? I don't want anything much, only the thing you don't know about in your home. The poor man started thinking what it could be that he didn't know about, but he could not think of a single thing. And as times were hard, he gave his promise. The poor man arrived home with a little walnut and his wife asked, Have you brought food? We are also very, very hungry. Well, I didn't exactly bring food, but I did bring a peculiar nut. The man who gave it to me said that we can order it to do anything we desire and it will be done. Why did he give it to you? I'm sure he wanted something in return. All he said was that I am to give him what I don't know about in my home in return for the nut. Oh, you faithless fool, what have you done? You can see that I'm expecting a baby, and you didn't know about it, and now you have given it away. It's not my fault, wife, but what is done is done. The poor man gave an order to the walnut. Well, little nut, all of us need food, drink and clothes. I order you to make them now. And everything the man asked for was provided and they all sat down to eat finer food than they had ever tasted in their lives before. The poor man also wanted a larger home, and so he ordered the little walnut to build him a large brick farmhouse with green gardens, lush pastures, and fine farm animals. The poor man soon became a rich man, and his baby was born. The family were all working hard one day when two old men arrived and asked for shelter for the night. He was glad to help and also gave them food when they told him why they had come. We know that the devil is about to come and take your youngest child. We came to help you save your innocent babe. Do as we say and put a loaf of bread on your table at night and let it stay there until the following day. So the man put a loaf on the table and everyone in the house went to sleep for the night. They were all fast asleep at midnight when the devil appeared under the window and shouted up, Hey, master of the house, do you hear me? Do you remember your promise to me? Give it to me now. I came for that. Nobody heard his words as they were all sleeping, but instead the bread spoke up. Stay and sit easy outside. Just wait as I waited. Be patient and suffer as I patiently waited. I was sown in the soil in the autumn and sat there all winter as you must wait now. When spring came, I started to grow, and I waited to grow tall, as you must wait now too. When the time of harvest came, I was cut with a scythe and gathered in bunches, but I had to suffer, as you must now suffer too. Then I was put on a cart, pushed along a road, and into the village and waited, as you must wait now too. I was stamped on and painfully cracked, I had to suffer, as you must now suffer too. 
I was shoveled into a barn where they beat me with sticks. They beat me hard and I suffered as you must suffer now too. Then I was put in a sack, taken to the mill and poured between two heavy stones and ground to powder. I had to suffer as you must suffer now too. I was taken home and put into a bowl with salt and water. Then they punched me with their fists, kneaded me and tortured me. Then, greatest of all pains in the world, they pushed me into a fiery oven. I had to suffer all of this, so you must suffer now too. They baked me and burned me before I was brought here and cut me with a sharp metal knife. I had to be patient and suffer and wait. Now you must be patient and suffer and wait now too. The devil was sad to hear the sound of the cockerel heralding the dawn of the next day. He had no power over men in the bright light of morning, so he ran back to his distant home and the farmer's family kept their youngest son. The farmer thanked the old men for saving his baby boy from the devil's grasp. And that poor farmer still lives a wealthy life, unless they have lost their little walnut.